Okay, well, hello and welcome everybody to our BCCF Digital Short. My name is Jen Forsland, and with me today for this presentation are two fine gentlemen and colleagues in the coral world here in the Comox Valley, Jean Sarazin and Kevin Marquette. Welcome Jean and Kevin. We're here today to talk to you about our process this spring as we endeavored to keep our coral community alive and thriving in the Comox Valley. My work in the Comox Valley has me engaged with children and adults and um, ensembles through the Celebration Singers Community Choirs, the Island Voices Chamber Choir, as well as the Fine Arts Academy here in the Comox Valley. Um, we are very fortunate to live and work and play in the traditional unceded territory of the Comox, Puntledge, and Aixin First Nations. So we're, we're grateful to um, acknowledge the, the land and the history here. And um, yes, we have had just such an interesting year as so many of you have had and uh, here to share a few things that we've learned along the way. And so basically today we're, we're going to talk about our spring term with the Celebration Singers Community um, Ensembles. These are non-auditioned choirs. And we came together under the umbrella of a song a week uh, precedent this spring. And of course, like so many of you, we also used Zoom, um, but we accessed some software that is really, really user-friendly called Easy Virtual Choir. And that really made for a slick operation once we got up and running. So we'd like to share a little bit about that with you. So in terms of the format, we, we continue to meet weekly on Monday nights for an hour and 15 minutes, uh, seemed to be a decent amount of time to be on the computer. And our mandate was threefold. Uh, first of all, we wanted to work together to keep the community rolling forward and connected to at least have the platform of Zoom to be connected and to keep some momentum going through this challenging time was really important and, um, and it's valuable. We also wanted to keep the learning going. And so there was an emphasis on um, the vocal technique as well as other areas of musicianship, including ear training and theories and other things. And then of course, just to sing, just for the joy of singing, <laughs> uh, to keep the instrument exercised and to let the sound out, which of course is part of our human experience. So with those goals in mind, we would meet uh, one hour and 15 minutes per week. And uh, we decided to do this uh, 10 week cycle of choosing a song per week to, um, to learn together. Using Easy Virtual Choir allowed us to create an opportunity whereby people could um, have multiple levels of engagement. If Monday night uh, they wanted to just simply come and see one another and be together, then um, that's great. And there was no expectation beyond that. But as is the case with so many of us, we're missing the performance element. And, uh, and so many singers did decide to take what they had learned on Monday nights and then um, engage with the Easy Virtual Choir platform, which Jean will tell a little bit more um, about as we go along here. My prep for the term as um, musical director involved choosing repertoire <laughs> and um, I really erred on the side of accessibility and ease so that the fun factor could be maximized and so that people had the opportunity to have a, some sense of instant gratification <laughs> on those Monday nights if that's all they chose to engage with as we went along. Uh, there were multiple levels of sophistication if singers wanted to continue throughout the week and learn multiple parts in a song. So I chose some rounds, I chose some music that was strophic, had some repetition. I tried to choose actual shorter charts. I pulled from um, our library, which is fairly extensive. Uh, depending on where you are, you may be able to pull from the library of other choirs around you as well. That minimized the cost. Ultimately, what we needed each week was to be able to have a PDF uploaded to our website. And Kevin can tell you more about that shortly. So singers came, logged on. They either had printed a PDF copy of the music or could display it on their device. Uh, I would have prepared every week a version of the song using Easy Virtual Choir. I would record a bass track and then I would record over top all of the parts of the song. Here's an example of a choir of gens that showed up every Monday night. Thank you. 
thanks for that, Jean. Typically, Kevin would post um, the EVC on the choir website, in addition to an example of another choir singing it. So if singers wanted to come more prepared on a Monday night, they knew which the song would be, they could have sung with me already or listened to a good example. Um, I would open the, the rehearsal with usually a very robust warm up and then spend the remaining 40 to 50 minutes teaching the parts of the song, inviting everybody to learn each part and to engage with each part and then try and sing their part independently with other parts. But once those parts were taught, then we would sort of um, bookend the experience by running through the song at least a couple of times with the Choir of Gems so that singers at home had the experience of hearing themselves in addition to the other parts that are being sung by me. And then as the week went on, as people felt comfortable to add their voices, gradually the Choir of Gems gets extracted and ultimately you end up with a choir of singers. So at the end of the term, you know, we had, I think we actually had 12 pieces because we had a round in there and then one week we did two, two pieces and uh, some of the the selections had uh, guest instrumentalists. I don't think um, I've ever recorded myself playing the accordion, but boy, didn't I have fun with that on Easy Virtual Choir. So <laughs> if you're interested in hearing more, just let me know. Um, at this point, um, I would just love to hand it over to Jean to talk a little bit about that platform and the success that our community had. Thanks, Jen. Yeah, I'm Jean and uh, my role was to support uh, singers in their use of the Easy Virtual Choir platform. So the learnings from our Easy Virtual Choir experience were pretty straightforward and fundamental, but uh, we're happy to share them with you. Um, they're basic things like making sure that you're consistently framed head and shoulder shots as you would for Zoom, I guess. And that makes sure that you're, everybody is about the same distance from their microphones as well to give a consistent sound. Make sure you're in a quiet environment. Like, you know, is your fridge close by and is it on? Listen and, and see what background noises might be happening. Keep in mind that as soon as you hit the add a track in Easy Virtual Choir, your microphone is hot. And so any throat clearing or any coughing or any paper rustling is gonna be captured, is gonna be part of the mix. And there's no way to remove it other than muting your track entirely, which you don't want to have happen. But that's about it. Those are basic rules. Remember to use headphones or earbuds. It's really, really important um, to record your voice. And that's it. Enjoy. That's great. Jean, did you want to add just a couple of thoughts about EVC before we talk about our, our website and how we've shared information? Yeah, uh, there's a couple of points that um, I wanted to mention. One, it's really important. You have to use a, a Chrome browser to access EVC. It won't work uh, on other browsers. Um, and you, you're going to need a Google account. So if you don't have one, create one. And you can also, there's a really important function of being able to uh, adjust the alignment of every track. You can get everything back into line again, and it really makes a big difference. One thing I really appreciate about Jean's engagement uh, before we hand it over to Kevin was that you know, we would give singers one week to learn the song. And by Sunday night, there was sort of a cutoff time. And that enabled Jean to then get into um, the Easy Virtual Choir platform, where there are some rudimentary and really, again, user-friendly mixing tools. Uh, so if anybody needs to be minimized, or he would extract my files so that it becomes a choir without gens. Thank you for that, Jean. Kevin, welcome. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm the web administrator for Celebration Singers Community Choirs. I joined the choir about 10 years ago, and um, shortly thereafter, um, I created our website. Over time, I've added uh, new tools to the members area, such as warm-up videos. Um, I also post YouTube examples of the repertoire we're learning. And um, we added a new tool uh, that's proven to be quite successful. It's called Easy Virtual Choir. Um, each week I would post a link to a virtual project that we're currently working on and uh, obviously a link to the Zoom rehearsal so that uh, the members could easily access those two activities. And then we'd have a virtual choir uh, final product at the end. So we've had a lot of fun with that program. This uh, new tool that we can continue with and keep us singing and enjoying um, our little community.
That's great, Kevin. Thank you. All right. Well, as you can see, it takes a village uh, and I, I'd be remiss to not acknowledge a really well organized and, and really uh, creative and passionate board who's uh, worked to keep our community thriving and moving forward. And really, you know, I'd say the mean age for celebration singers is um, of retirement age. And you have people learning, you know, saying, look at us, we can learn new things. And I really admire that um, resilience and that spirit of adaptability at this time. So um, we'd be more than happy to answer any questions and uh, look forward to, as Kevin said, the day when we, we do get to be together again. In the meantime, thank goodness for some of these technologies. And, um, you know, I really think that singers um, appreciated the value of our time together, appreciated the value of seeing and hearing themselves, appreciated the value of just singing with one uh, confident example um, as they learned apart, and uh, really appreciated having a product that they could work towards, you know, the performance piece of what we do. It is nice uh, for those folks to also have the opportunity to create something, which once the EVC has been mixed and shared, can go to, uh, to the friends, the family, uh, the grandkids. Thank you. Thank you everyone for being here today. And until we sing together again, take good care of yourselves and um, all the best.